Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Spellweaver, and I have created my very own deck. All my own thoughts and ideas have been put into this deck, and um, we're gonna see how it how it plays. It's kind of built around um, implanting high speed elves. So I'm sure it's not a unique idea, and I'm sure it's not a good idea, but hey, you've got to start somewhere. So we're going to try out this deck uh, in a quick battle, and then we'll probably wind up switching to one of our more established decks for the rest of the video. All right, so let's go find somebody. All right, looks like we're going to have No Life King, and uh, we'll keep that. So as you can see, it's going to be a Dominion um, shriny deck kind of thing. We're actually going to put Grappling Hook back. I was hoping for a Dominion Shrine, but didn't get one. Alright, so what kind of deck does he have? Well, there's going to be a rat. Alright, so we will play nothing at this point. Um, we're going to toss back an Elven Skyrider. Didn't get what we needed, so we will just keep waiting. We're going to take at least one damage. Alright. Let's see here. We just can't get lucky, can we? So we're going to toss back the Power Strike Armor. Hmm. Well, this deck isn't doing too well, is it? Alright, so we are going to just go straight mana and bring out an Elven Skyrider for blocking purposes. So we're going to take three damage. I will block the rat and kill it off if he attacks with it. If he doesn't, we'll just eat that three damage. Hmm. All right, so we're going to lose that, and we're going to take four damage. So, obviously, yeah, going to have some serious flaws if I can't get the um, shrines that I need. There's all my Dominion shrines. Jesus. Okay, so we'll bring those guys out. And we'll bring out an Elf Scout, see if we can't bait that out. And see what happens. We baited that out. That's just fine. And what's he going to do? What I would do is I would actually attack with the Instatiable Ghoul and kill off one of these Brothers in Arms cards, forcing the other one to disappear. Now we have a way of dealing with that guy, so we'll do that. Okay, that was different. That's fine. I went for the damage. Fair enough. Alright, so we will man in a card. Let's see, I've only got four, so we'll play that. Ooh. Hmm. We're gonna play that. And it was a risk doing that, but I really want to... I don't know. I really should have cleared that out before he got anything out of it. Probably not the best idea. Hmm. Oh, he's got two of them. That's going to be a problem. He has a zombie factory on the run already. All right, so what's he going to do? He is going to do that. We will not block that. So we can Metabolic Overcharge and take out some of his stuff. Hmm. We're going to remove one of those. We're going to Metabolic Overcharge. We're going to... Um, 
I'm gonna take out that guy. We'll still end up taking at minimum five damage next round. And then this next round will mana card destroy that. Okay, we won't mana. We'll destroy that. And then um see what we can do after that. But I think we're just gonna be beat by overwhelming forces. Not the card. <laughs> Not the card. The uh, inability to stop anything from hitting me. Okie doke. Um, so we are going to get rid of that. And the elf warrior, we're going to make him swift. And we're going to... Um, Gonna call that a day. We've lost, so we're just going to uh, block what we can block and consider it done. He'll probably slow that and attack it with something else and then finish it off. Or he could just all in and end it very quickly, which would be nice. Let's move on to the next round. Or not. He could just not. Got it. There you go. There you go. You could just hit the all in button, friend, and, and speed this up. Alright. And there we go. Um, sure, we'll accept it. We'll go one more round. Why not? Alright, No Life King. Um, we are going to draw again. Alright, so we've got a little bit better mix in our um, starting hand here. We'll go ahead and bring an Elf Scout out. See what he does with that. He may put the Plague Rat out and sack it straight away. Um, so we will bring out a Dominion Shrine. Mm. So we're going to Elf Scout and swing for one. I considered doing that, but... I think it's a waste. So we will save that. So I'm thinking as soon as we can, we'll bring out the legendary storyteller. Get that on the board. Um, we may wind up putting the power spike armor back in the deck. Looking for uh, mana. Metabolic Overcharge might be nice to wipe out these guys. So we'll see. Hmm. Wonder what's going to come from that. Alright. So we will take that two damage. What I'll probably do is Metabolic Overcharge and wipe that guy off the map. Um, so we're going to send that out. Of course, that metabolic overcharge really depends on having the mana for it. Um, hmm. The start of its controller's turn. So it's the start of the turn. So I'm going to actually power spike armor that. And swing for one here. And here's my thinking. If that survives, if he doesn't Noxious Fumes that, I'll be able to block that and it will die. If he Noxious Fumes it, well, all bets are, are off anyway, so there's that. So it really depends on what he does. I really think I need to change some of the cards out and put a few more shrines in, because I'm really having problems getting mana in the early game. Okay, so no life king, what are we gonna do, buddy? What you got for us? Okay, mesmerizing spirit. Um, you know what? We are going to get rid of test of time. Gonna po keep our power surge in our pocket and try to make sure that we um 
save that so that we can artificially inflate our stuff. So we will block that one. See if he, he can't knock just fumes, so that one's gonna die. I think that was a good trade. Ah, there's some mana. That is what I needed. And an extra power surge. So we are going to play with the top card exposed. And that's what I like to see. Um, next round we're going to power surge. And um, we may do it twice depending on what goes on. We are not getting a mana though, so I might not do that yet. Oh, it's 50-50. It really is. Because I have three mana, what I could do is I could put that on our friend here and pull the Mesmerizing Spirit up and kill it. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to Grappling Hook. We're going to pull and kill that. And, um... That's it. So now we have to contend with that. So we'll definitely power surge next round. Or metabolic overcharge. I don't know. Maybe I should toss one of the power surges for a mana. Mm, th that sucks. His zombie army is growing quite a bit. Um... We're taking a lot of damage. We aren't going to sack one just yet. Because I can metabolic overcharge and do some serious damage with that. Okay, mana and crystal. That's not a bad grab at all. So we're actually going to double power surge. Try to build up some mana. We're going to kill one of those guys off now. Two, four, six. Oh, that's going to be the end of it. Hmm. That is pretty much the end. Good game, No Life King. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So he should be able to to bring out. the wind fairly easily now. Ah, Flesh Sculptor. She is tasty. Okay. There it is. There's the wind. Good game. Wow, that's a really good way to play that deck. Yeah, and I've got some serious flaws not being able to get enough mana to do anything. You know what? I'm going to actually decline. Um, I'm going to pull out another deck, and we're going to do something else. Um, hmm. Let's use this deck. We haven't played this one in a little while outside of playing with Good, so we're going to quick battle and find us a game. Okay, and it's going to be Nephros the AI. Alright, Nephros, we'll keep that. And we will corruption level, bring out a zombie, and um, see what we can do with that. Alright. Um, hmm. We're going to toss a sleep. Get a poke in the eye for that. Gain a mana. We're going to save that until we can get the appropriate types of levels. Alright, so we're going to lose a creature right off the freaking bat, aren't we? Nice. Alright. That's, that's useless. It's freaking useless. Okay. Yay, Wisdom Shrine! That is exactly what I needed. Okay, so we are going to bring out a Blood Witch Harpy and start picking away at his units. 
discard two cards. Go F yourself in the B. Uh, we're getting rid of sleep. F yourself in the B, Nephros. F yourself in the B. Nefaros, whatever you want. I'm not calling you what you want to be called. You are an ass. Um, we're going to toss back library guards. Probably a bad idea, but we managed to score a wisdom shrine, which is nice. And noxious fumes, which we don't need. Because he had to clear the board. Neener, neener, neener. Okay. Um. Huh. Alright, so we can man in a card. Double noxious fumes. Yes, please. Alright, so noxious fumes. One. Makes it a 3, 3, 2, makes it a 1, 1. That makes it dead. And. Ta da! Another Blood Witch Harpy! Okay. And now he is going to lose that creature. I have none to sacrifice, none to sacrifice. We're going to look for more cards. Didn't get any, that's alright. He'll lose both his creatures. That has to be frustrating for a crappy AI like him. Toss that back, hope for a shrine. Got it. Got him. Alright, uh, we will go library guards and infected survivor. Get us some of that extra mana next round. Or a zombie. Or nothing. Or you can just go fuck yourself, splitting headache. Damn. Alright, so Bedeviled Fiend. Nope. Um, we'll run that. Gnome Power doesn't do us any good. That guy going to sleep. Uh, let's see. Can't activate abilities. Does that make him an, unable to attack? Speed is zero. Can't be active. Can't attack or block. Okay. I'm going to test something out. We're going to kill that guy off and we're going to swing for two. My theory was correct. He can still damage. But that's alright because he's gone. I did waste the sleep on it. Um, probably should have waited until sleep was almost over. But I'm okay with that. I was just trying some stuff out. Um, we are going to gain the skill. We'll save Gnome Power Engineer. Yeah, we'll save Gnome Power. We won't save Gnome Power. We'll save it. Never mind. We won't. Because I'm an idiot. Alright, so we'll swing for four. I'm gonna save that one by spending it. And another Bedeviled Fiend. I have none. I have none. I would like to search. Ooh, Grasping Hands is nice. Useless, but nice. I'm actually gonna toss that back. And gain uh, mana. Really need another uh, black shrine. Uh, corruption shrine. Couldn't think of the words. Okay, so you would make it a three damage. So we're losing a Blood Witch Harpy. But that's okay, because he's losing that and that. He's not even going to get extra mana. Alright. Keeping the board clear. Camo. Okay, well that was useful. Um, so we're gonna airship explorer and we're gonna put him to sleepy by. And we got shit. Oh, we'll draw a card. We'll draw another card. Uh, close. Can't even play it. All that and still can't play it. Alright, so we'll swing for two. So we need one more level. Doesn't matter what color it is because we have our lovely little obelisk. We have to sacrifice two creatures. We'll get rid of you and you. That is fine. 
Okay, so... We're gonna toss Mesmerizing Spirit. Ooh, Corruption level. Yes, please. Now, of course, there's no units on the field for him, but that's all right. Oh, look. Uh, we can get another level. Why not? Boom. These are all the levels I've got. I've got levels for days. i got levels of shrines. don't even know how many shrine levels I've got. Actually, I do. I've got four. Two blue and two black. Uh, I don't have any cards to get rid of. That is fine. Oh, I do have a creature. Splitting Headache really doesn't do me any good, but this, that does. And we'll swing for four more. Bonk, bonk, baby. Daddy's home. <laughs> I'm not sure why that means daddy's home, but there you go. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of that guy. I don't need all these splitting headaches anymore because, well, he's already he's already split his wig. Um, I'm way too white to be talking like that. Let's just let's just be honest about that. All right, should we just end it or should we play with him? I say we just end it. Let's just finish this up. Boom, boom, and boom. All right, there we go. We won. And uh, as you can see, I actually wound up leveling up while testing out my other deck, which got its ass spanked twice in a row. Not surprised there. Um, so we're at level 13 now, which gives us the Academy. And we have to gain 240 fame, and I get two normal packs, which is great. We'll get some two normal packs eventually. Not sure when. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, suggestions, or any comments on my deck that you may want to see me make changes to, put that in the comment section below. And if you could have thought a way where I could have could thought a way, could have, if you know a way I could have won the games I lost, let's put it that way. Put that in the comment section below. I apologize for the rambling. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed what you saw, click that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. Let's give her extra mana for her seven cards, so that does suck. I think next round. So do we go for more? 